Why shouldn't we be at the mercy of some junked up sad sack like him, eh? That's enough, my lad. Don't just sat there, just scribbling away with that, that, that Luke on his big smug face. Oh, look at me, I'm here, you can tell him, but it's because I have a fancy pen and a stupid cravat. Present for my wife, as it happens. 100% silk. She couldn't make it, by the way, not feeling so well. I'm sorry to hear that. She thought it went with my skin turns, you know. My big smug face. Hi. So, how's the food so far? Salty. Okay, speaking of which, I think I might have been a bit, a little bit salty myself earlier, so, you know, apologies for any offence caused. We're all entitled to our opinions, I suppose. Uh, some are clearly worth more than others. I think there's something in the kitchen that needs your attention. Thank you, Marlon. Uh, in the meantime, uh, can I get you another drink? Oh, I suppose I could have a, another orange juice. Uh, sure, I can't tempt you with a beer. Uh, well, I'm, I don't usually, but um, all this salt. Say no more. One crisp cold pint coming up. You look familiar. Have we met before? Not here, I mean. No, well, I used to do a bit of wrestling back in the day, but I'm guessing that's not your thing. Well, that's it. Uh, big Bear, Grizzly... Bear Wolf! Ha, I see you know your wrestling. Well, you certainly knew how to put on a show back in the day. I bet you've got a few tales to tell. Yes. Yes, he has. You sit down and I'll bring your drinks over. No offence, Marlon, but stay in the kitchen. Then, you won't believe it. it takes. Pulled off his artificial arm and beat me right round the chops with it. <laughs> True. <laughs> you sure you want to stop for another hill? Because I haven't told you about that time in Telford. Now, that was one heck of a night. No, I, I really should be going. Well, as long as you've had a good time here at the Wolfpack. And on the house, so... Ah, the salty chef. Very tall. Food was okay overall. Improvement on the last time, anyway. Very kind. Thank you. While well, your taxi's waiting. Uh, uh, we can count on you for that review now, can't we? You? <laughs> Don't you worry about that, bear wolf. <laughs> <laughs> My signature move. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, there's the wife now. You're wondering where I've got to. Look, you need to talk to her, right? Because let's be honest, she is the one with the problem here, not my Vinny. Randy, I know what you did. Blocking her number on his phone and then and then telling her that he's with someone normal. So don't take the high ground with me. But you're actually blameless. You threw her out of her own home. Which is why we both need to back off and let Liv and Vinny get on with it. Well, that's all very noble, but he's the one that's going to get hurt here when it all implodes again. And Vinny is my concern here. Right. And Liv's mine. So I'm warning you, Mandy, don't get involved again. Maybe the pair of you should take this somewhere else. Who's this joker? Aaron. In these places. They're all the same once you scratch the surface. Oh, if you don't like it, mate, do one. Please don't start. Oh, come on, Mum, he's a bird. Oh, no, mate, that figures. Now, come on, you, let's uh, get you to your taxi. Oh, thank you, Bear. And don't worry. You will be hearing from me very soon. Oh. The long arm of the law. Chief Inspector Bannister's glass is empty. You got a name yet? We ought to give a new boy a name. What should we call him? You're the trigger man, aren't you? Trigger. Trigger. Yeah, well, he's hung like a fucking horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's thanks to me you're roaming the streets free as a bird, you know that. You owe me. Surely, if Cameron is more comfortable at home, it would speed up his recovery. Well, if he is more comfortable, we'll have to have the flat assessed and checked for suitability. How soon can we get it assessed? Well, I can contact someone today. It's slightly more complicated than that, though. Look, I won't pretend things aren't going to be tough. There are lots of things you used to be able to do which will be much harder. Like what? And simple things, like cooking, washing, dressing. Here, we can provide the right help, and the physio is always on standby. Yeah, I know, but I just want to go home. Now, I understand, but going home will mean lifestyle changes, and you'll need someone to help care for you. I've got my uh, younger brother, Lewis. 
And he'll be able to be there nearly all of the time? Yeah, I guess so. I could look after him. You really need to consider the practicalities of this decision. I have. I know that it will be hard, I understand that. But I could do it, I promise you. Are you sure about this? Yeah, of course I'm sure. Was he with anyone? John Joe, one of my regulars. What time was it? Eleven. We had it down as earlier than that. No, I'm trying to hold on to my licence here. Your friend wasn't willing to wait till over any time. When did he leave? After six pints and twelve double jack D's. Did he go off with John Jack? Well, you know what drunks are like. Share a couple of pints and a few stories, they're as thick as thieves. Do you know where he lives? Tennyson Court, Larkmead. I don't know the number. But uh, if the rumours are true, you shouldn't have much trouble finding it. Just follow the line of old men with their zippers flying proud. What do you mean? His wife's a brass, specialising in the geriatric. It's amazing, really. The woman's a saint, given out to the poor and needy. And offer a small donation to John Joe's favourite charity. Alcoholics not so anonymous. Right, thank you. I hope you find him. He left here with a hefty tab. You want to swap? Sure. 